Um, good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing all right. <clears throat> I was about to um postpone this video today because last night I got sick with a minor cold and I thought it was going to linger up to today. So I, I, I was feeling um really weak last night and drained of energy, but I'm good and well right now. So what I'm going to talk about today is the in interracial agenda. Now, um, recently, a movie called um, Where Hands Touch was released. Um, I didn't know about it until Tariq Nasheed um, did a share on it on Instagram. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to watch the movie because... Um, it's about Nazis, and I don't like watching movies about Nazis. I don't like watching movies um, centered around white supremacist groups. But based on what we can um, see from that movie and um, in the trailers, it's obvious that that movie is about um, an interracial relationship between a black girl living in Nazi Germany um, with a member of the um, Nazi party, which was um, strongly forbidden during the um, 1930s and 40s um, when the Nazis um, ruled all over Europe. They forbid um, interracial um, marriage because that was a threat to the um, Aryan bloodline. So... They enacted all these laws. Uh, I, I, I forgot what the name of that law was called, but they enacted um, a law that forbid um, Aryan women um, or Aryan men um, from getting into interracial relationships with um, non Germans. Non-whites, shall I say, but the the reason why more and more of these um, movies are coming out is they're um, pushing the interracial agenda. We, we we see it all the time on television, in movies, and in advertisements. Um, we we've been seeing it on our everyday lives, but. Don't don't be fooled by their um by their um scheme, thinking that the reason why they're pushing this agenda is to is because we live in a society that's more racially diverse. The that's not the motive behind what why why they're really doing that. The reason why they're doing that, um, the um. Caucasians are pushing this interracial agenda is because they are dying out um, rapidly. They are a dying breed of people. Uh, there, there. I, I, I read several articles and um, many black YouTubers um, also did a share on this, where more white people are dying out more than being born. And it's gotten to a point now where white women just are not able to reproduce for whatever reason. They cannot procreate any more offsprings. And the same thing with white men. So they are primarily targeting darker skinned people to breed out the melanated race. You don't see... Um, you don't see in, you don't see many interracial movies um, showing black people with Hispanic people, Hispanic people with black people, black people with Asians, Asians with black people, um, Hispanics with Asians, vice versa. You don't see a lot of movies like that. You mostly see movies about um, inter the, you mostly see interracial movies about um, white people with black people and they're they're pushing that and as they are dying out 
they're pushing that agenda more and more to infect the minds of young black children into thinking that getting with a Euro entity is a much better choice and an upgrade than getting with your own people. So that's why they're um pushing that um they're they're pushing that um sinister agenda. So that's it I wanted to say for the um Caucasians. Now the Chinese they also have their um own um interracial agenda. It's not because they are dying out fast they actually have huge population problems in china and a lot of chinese men are flocking to africa impregnating black women now why are they doing that it's not because they find black women <laughs> Um, they find African women attractive. No, 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 that's not the case because in China a lot of people there think of um, black people as inferior to them as below them. There used to be a, exhibit, a museum in China where there was this exhibit comparing Africans to animals and due to um, huge controversy um, that transpired afterwards they had to shut down the exhibit down but it, that, that still didn't change the mind of the way Chinese people view melanated people they still um, have a white supremacist mindset ideology and which is why <clears throat> they are colonizing the continent of Africa right now and the so let me get to the point the reason why um chinese men are impregnating um african women is so that they can get they can easily get a hold of the continent and produce um and also produce uh, um offsprings that will also get a hold of the continent they're doing it to gain legal citizenship in the continent so that they can rule over the continent of Africa and <clears throat> colonize and exploitate the, the people there and um, I, I, I've been hearing a lot of news lately about how the um, Chinese treat um, people there when they come over there um, there was this um, news not too, um, that came out not too long ago where you had a group of Chinese men attacking a Ugandan governmental official because um, the, the locals there, the, 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 the government, refused those Chinese men from further um, mining illegally. So they... Um, the, the the Chinese men got really upset over that that they um not are not being uh, uh, um allowed to do whatever they want to do but uh, um the the Chinese man who did the punching he got his ass locked up in jail and it's a good thing I hope they deport his um behind back to China and in um. Uh, I also read another um, news article, and um, Phil from the Advice Show also did a share on this, where uh, you had a Chinese man um, call, referring to Kenyans and President Uhuru Kenyatta as monkeys, and after, right after he made that statement, he also got his ass deported back to China, which is a good thing. You know, when these outsiders are mistreating um, African people, Africa um, really needs to do away with them. Um, Africa shouldn't, sh shouldn't never ever feel ashamed of protecting and looking out the interests for their own people. 
So that's pretty much what I want to say with this um, whole interracial agenda thing. It is a worldwide problem. And instead of um, black people being oblivious to it, they need to be really aware of it and be on guard because these people um, coming up to you, they're not, they're not coming up to you for good intentions. They're, they're coming to you because you have something that they don't. You know, there's this, um, there's this um, saying that I've been hearing now that um, Africa doesn't need no one, but everybody needs Africa. That, that's because um, Africa has all the natural resources that the world needs. So they're going to, um, they, they want to gain huge control over um, Africa, as well as um, all the melanated people to achieve the resources they need. Like, they are a bunch of parasites. They're, they are a bunch of leeches, mosquitoes, sucking the blood off of Africa. And you know, this um, interracial agenda thing is pretty much like integration, but um, the, the, the integration thing, that's going to be another topic for another video. Because I want to go off topic um, of, the, of the main subject of this um, commentary, but keep your eyes open, people. Um, you, you, you guys really need to um, be um, more 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 awakened. You need you, you need to awaken more and know everything that's happening all around you, because. This whole interracial agenda thing, like I said, it's a worldwide problem and it's an epidemic. So, peace and blessings to all melanated people all over the world across the African diaspora. I hope you always stay strong, resistant, radical, and I hope you're always fighting against those who are oppressing you. Shalom.